Have you ever wondered about the turbulent history that lies behind the sacred walls of Ram Mandir? Nestled in the heart of Ayodhya, a city steeped in ancient lore and spirituality, stands the Ram Mandir, a temple that whispers tales of faith, conflict and rebirth. A symbol of devotion to millions, this temple is more than just a structure of stone and mortar. It's a testament to the unwavering faith of countless believers, a beacon illuminating the spiritual landscape of India. The Ram Mandir, or the abode of Lord Rama, holds a significant place in the heart of Hinduism. Lord Rama, the seventh avatar of Lord Vishnu, is revered as a symbol of righteousness and virtue. His life and teachings, chronicled in the sacred epic Ramayana, have guided generations of followers. To them, the Ram Mandir is not just a temple, it's a spiritual home that resonates with the echoes of divine love and devotion. However, the tranquility that envelops the temple now belies a history fraught with conflict and controversy. The birthplace of Lord Rama where the temple stands has been the subject of a centuries-long dispute, a tumultuous saga that has left indelible marks on the canvas of Indian history. The temple, like the deity it worships, has weathered the storms of time standing tall amidst the whirlwinds of legal battles and societal upheaval. The story of Ram Mandir is not just about a temple, but a narrative of faith's resilience and the power of devotion. It's a tale that transcends the boundaries of religion, touching upon the very essence of human spirit and its ceaseless quest for the divine. Yet the Ram Mandir's tale is far from over, it continues to evolve, mirroring the ebb and flow of the societal currents around it. A symbol of faith, a monument of devotion, and a beacon of spiritual guidance, the Ram Mandir remains an enigma that invites exploration and understanding. Now, journey back in time to the beginnings of this extraordinary temple. The story of Ram Mandir begins in the mists of ancient history. This sacred site, nestled in the heart of the city of Ayodhya, is steeped in spiritual significance and historical intrigue. It is believed by many to be the birthplace of Lord Rama, a revered figure in Hinduism and the central character in the epic Ramayana. The Ramayana tells us of Lord Rama's divine birth, his heroic deeds, and his rule as a just king. It paints a vivid picture of Ayodhya, the city he ruled, a place of prosperity, righteousness and unwavering faith, where the echoes of sacred chants filled the air and the ideals of Dharma prevailed. The first known temple at this location, dedicated to Lord Rama, is believed to have been built by King Vikramaditya. King Vikramaditya, a legendary figure in Indian history, was renowned for his wisdom, valor and dedication to justice. It is said that he built the temple to honor Lord Rama and to provide a place of worship for his people. This temple, constructed with exquisite craftsmanship and profound devotion, stood as a beacon of faith and a testament to the age-old traditions of Hinduism. The temple was not just a place of worship, it was the heart of the community. It was here that festivals were celebrated with great fervor, where the stories of Lord Rama were told and retold, shaping the cultural and moral landscape of the society. It was a place that nurtured spirituality, fostered a sense of unity, and served as a constant reminder of the divine presence of Lord Rama. The temple stood tall and proud, a symbol of the deep-seated faith of a civilization, a faith that would endure the passage of time, the rise and fall of dynasties, and the ebb and flow of history. But as history marched on, Ram Mandir would face destruction and rebirth. The year 1528 marked a turning point in the history of Ram Mandir. This year bore witness to an event that would forever change the course of history, a shift that began with the arrival of a man named Mir Baki. A general under the Mughal Emperor Babur, Baki was an ambitious man intent on leaving his mark on the world. He set his sights on Ayodhya, a city revered by Hindus for its spiritual significance. Here stood the Ram Mandir, a temple dedicated to Lord Ram, a deity worshipped by millions. However, Baki saw not a place of worship, but a strategic location ripe for conquest. In a move that would send shockwaves through the centuries, Baki ordered the destruction of the Ram Mandir. The temple, a symbol of faith and devotion for countless individuals, was reduced to rubble. In its place, a new structure rose, a mosque named Babri Masjid. 
This act was not just a physical destruction, but an emotional and spiritual one as well. It tore at the fabric of Hindu-Muslim relations, creating a rift that would grow wider with time. The temple's destruction was more than the loss of a sacred site. It was an attack on a community's identity, their history, and their beliefs. For Hindus, the Ram Mandir was not just a building, it was a symbol of their faith, a testament to their devotion to Lord Ram. Its loss was deeply felt, a wound that would not heal easily. On the other hand, for Muslims, the Babri Masjid was a symbol of their historical presence in the region, a reminder of their own heritage and identity. The destruction of Ram Mandir and the construction of Babri Masjid created a complex and contentious issue that is deeply rooted in history, religion and identity. It is a reflection of the complex dynamics between two communities, their shared history, and the tensions that arise from it. For centuries, the site lay under the shadow of the Babri Masjid, but change was on the horizon. The late 20th century saw the resurgence of the Ram Janmabhumi movement. As we moved into the 1980s, the issue of the Ram Mandir began to heat up, with tensions simmering beneath the surface of Indian society. The Babri Masjid, a mosque that stood on the disputed site, became the epicenter of the conflict. Many Hindus believed that the mosque had been constructed by the Mughal Emperor Babur after demolishing a pre-existing temple that marked Lord Ram's birthplace. This belief kindled a powerful movement aimed at reclaiming the site for the construction of a new Ram Mandir. The situation reached a boiling point on December 6, 1992, when a large mob of Hindu activists razed the Babri Masjid to the ground. The demolition sparked communal riots across the country, causing a tragic loss of life and deepening the chasm between India's two largest religious communities. In the aftermath, the site became a hotbed of legal disputes. Various parties staked their claim over the land, including the Sunni Waqf Board, the Nirmohi Akara, and the representatives of the Ram Janmabhumi movement. The case went through a series of twists and turns, moving from local courts to the High Court, and finally landing in the lap of the Supreme Court of India. The legal battle was not just about a piece of land, it was about faith, about history, about identity. It was about a nation's struggle to reconcile its multi-religious, multicultural fabric with the ghosts of its past. It was about the right to worship, the right to remember, and the right to forget. It was about the complex interplay of religion and politics in a secular democracy. Finally, after years of conflict and negotiation, the Supreme Court made a landmark decision. In November 2019, the court ruled in favor of the Ram Mandir, paving the way for the construction of a new temple on the contested site. The verdict marked the end of a long and bitter dispute, but the echoes of the conflict continue to reverberate in the corridors of Indian history. In 2019, the Supreme Court of India paved the way for a new era for Ram Mandir. This verdict marked a significant milestone in the long-standing dispute over the sacred site. After years of deliberation, the highest legal authority in the country gave the green light for the construction of a new temple on the contested grounds. The decision was met with a wave of emotion. For many, it symbolized a moment of triumph, a recognition of their faith and devotion. For others, it was a moment of reflection on the many chapters of history that had led to this point. But one thing was clear. The story of Ram Mandir was about to enter a new phase. The construction of the new Ram Mandir is not just about bricks and mortar. It's a symbol of cultural heritage, a beacon of faith, and a testament to the enduring spirit of the people. It's about restoring the glory of an ancient symbol that has borne witness to the unfolding tapestry of history. The design of the new temple is inspired by the Nagara style of Hindu temple architecture, characterized by its ascending series of towers. This grand vision aims to not just recreate the past, but to create a space where past, present and future can coexist. A place that pays homage to history while looking forward to a future of unity and harmony. The process of constructing the new temple is as much about spiritual rejuvenation as it is about physical construction. Each stone that is laid, each pillar that is raised, carries with it the hopes and prayers of millions. 
The rebirth of Ram Mandir is more than just the rise of a new structure. It's the embodiment of a collective spirit, a shared history and a common future. It's a celebration of faith, heritage and the power of perseverance. And so, the story of Ram Mandir continues, a testament to faith, endurance, and the complexities of history. The saga of Ram Mandir is a fascinating journey through time. From its ancient origins, this place of worship has withstood the test of time, bearing witness to countless historical events and transformations. The temple's initial destruction was a poignant chapter in its narrative, a period of loss and longing that would fuel a modern conflict, rife with tension and strife. Yet, amidst the turmoil, the indomitable spirit of faith persisted, leading to the eventual rebirth of Ram Mandir. This rebirth, a testament to human resilience and dedication, serves as a beacon of hope and a symbol of unity for countless devotees around the world. Each chapter in the saga of Ram Mandir, from its inception to its rebirth, is a testament to the power of faith and the enduring strength of human spirit. As we reflect on the past, one can only wonder what the future holds for this ancient site of worship, the Ram Mandir.